Hello all. Welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasanth. I hope you all doing well. So today's topic is promise. So promise is considered to be one of the again a tricky topic for the interview because you'll be using promise in a different way in a day to day basis. But in the interview, they'll ask you to write the promise in a different ways. So due to which many candidates struggle to answer these topics in interview. Also, many many candidates actually doesn't know the fundamentals of promise. Why promise existing and how to create a promise, how to resolve it, how to reject it. So I I, I pick the promise and I want to explain the promise. very depth like every aspect of promise i try to cover here because promises many functions inside that like all settled uh, resolve reject finally every aspect of promise i'll try to cover so that once you finish watching my entire promise series you should know a lot about the promises so whether it is interview or on data programming you should be able to use it very well okay now without wasting further time question number 1 why promise is necessary in javascript correct you all know javascript is a single threaded interpreted programming language correct so see, since it is a single thread there's only one thread which will execute the uh, uh, code one line by line correct so but that is not always possible like there is some let's say we are making a api call correct api call is going to let's say one or two seconds if main thread waits for one or two seconds there itself and do, does not execute anything after that then then it will affect the performance correct so there has to be a way to achieve asynchronicity in a single threaded programming language so that can be actually achieved with multiple ways one such way is via promises okay there is a whole concept of uh, event loop event callback all of that associated with uh, how asynchronicity asynchronicity is achieved in javascript i i try to cover that in one next video that's also a very important topic for the interview but this video let us stick to uh, the promise itself uh, and you now you know why promises is used promises used to achieve asynchronicity in javascript very simple words okay now without wasting further time let's get started with the coding so here um, very first thing that we have to know is how to create a promise correct see on a day to day basis you will be creating a promise we are different way like no one uses a keyword called promise to create a promise you will be making a network call or you are introducing some delays etc using the promises correct but in interviews generally they'll ask you to write a candidate write a promise that will be resolved after 2 seconds okay many candidate will not know this itself they will not be able to write a promise that will be resolved after 2 seconds so i'll start with the extreme basics on how to create a simple promise okay before that i'll also show you the what is the definition of promises from the developer.mozilla.org okay a promise is an object representing the event eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation okay a promise is an object representing eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation a promise can be succeeded or a promise can be rejected okay the only two states of the promise because after you make a network call it can be either succeeded or failure so promise has three states pending fulfilled and rejected so as soon as you make a network call it go to it will go to a state of pending or from there it can either fulfilled or rejected this is about the basics of the promise the definition and the different states of promise okay now let's see how to create a simple promise so easiest way to create a promise is const from promise 1 is equals to new promise okay um, actually new promise also not required to start off with just promise dot resolve welcome to uncommon geeks okay So here, what I'm doing is I've created a promise called promise dot resolve, and inside that, what I'm resolving, welcome to uncommon geeks. Okay. So here, resolve stands for something. The promise has been executed successfully. Okay. So how do you extract the value from this promise? So you might have all uh, done this on a day-to-day -day basis. Promise dot then will give you a value. What happens after the success of the promise? Okay. Promise dot then data. console dot log promise success data okay okay so if i execute this one now so you would see promise success welcome to uncommon geeks correct so you got promise success and welcome to uncommon geeks so you created a promise and the actually the promise got resolved resolved as i mentioned is promise happened successfully so this is a manual promise manually you are making a promise to be successful but on a day to day basis when you are making api call there is a chance fair chance of it is getting successful or a failure okay let's say same uh, this api call or whatever the promise i am created it is not resolved 
or putting other way whenever you are trying to execute a promise there is some error so that can be mimicked via function called reject okay so promise dot then to catch whatever the error that has come that you can put in the catch block okay console dot log promise failure okay promise failure uh, okay i'm sorry so here it should be error okay so promise failure welcome to uncommon case this is the one first one and the most simplest way of creating a promise in interview they'll ask you candidate please create a promise this is the easiest way to create a promise okay sometimes interviewer will not be interested to dig deeper he just want to know can you create a promise or not because the only way you know promise is via network call or you also know simply how to create a promise okay so this will just this should cover that particular topic if interviewer asks like that now there is another question what is the other way see um, they will ask you to mock a promise that will execute for 2 to 3 seconds typical network call they'll ask you to mock because every interviewer doesn't come prepared with an url which will take two seconds to resolve because that all i mean interviewer also sometimes come at the last moment so they'll simply ask you candidate create a promise that will take three seconds to resolve so that cannot be achieved directly this via this this approach okay how to create that promise also i'll show you see this video is as i said is to explain very basics of promise in further videos we'll get into deeper and try to solve some complex flows as well so how to create that promise i will do this i'll use a new keyword then promise takes two arguments so resolve and reject which you already know correct this is in a different way rather putting promise or resolve i'm adding those uh, functions into the uh, as an argument here okay now here what i'll do i'll create one set timeout set timeout for 2 seconds inside this set timeout block i will resolve again welcome to uncommon geeks okay so here what i will do promise same the uh, further process remains same promise dot then data log promise success okay then you are printing the data and here you have as usual catch block error log error is error okay so what will happen in this case okay what we are doing is we have created a promise and inside a promise we have created a timeout okay this timeout will execute after 2 seconds as we already know so after 2 seconds this resolve will be triggered and this resolve will return some values in, in your typical network response this could be an object or a more complex json or just a status code it could be anything okay so in our case we are just mocking it as a string resolve uh, this so this will execute only after 2 seconds so if i run this code 1 2 now you are seeing the output promise success welcome to uncommon gigs hope you are able to see what is happening correct so if if interviewer asks let's create a promise that takes 10 seconds okay you can just easily change by putting 10 seconds here okay same any seconds the why interviewer ask is let's say you have to create three different promises with a different um, time to resolve like 2 second 3 second and 5 second and there are methods like promise dot all settled and etc which will help you to uh, call all the promise at once and if can interviewer is in the mood to ask such questions then you should know first to create this then to create some other promise with a different times okay so this is about the basics of the promise so how to create a promise just with a promise dot uh, promise dot resolve promise dot reject or with a profound way with a particular delay you can use this approach so i'll also show you how to uh, uh, reject a promise okay in this case i'm rejecting a promise after the timeout so 10 second is too much so i'm creating again 2 seconds okay 2 seconds So here you see error is welcome to uncommon gigs. Okay, as you all know, uncommon gigs is my channel name. So I just try to put that sentence somewhere here and there so that you are always remembered to that channel. Remember that channel. Okay, fine. This is about the basics of promise creation. Two different ways of promise creation. I said. Okay, there were many other things that we we want to um, see around the promises. Like um, if I put a log above the promise, below the promise, what's going to happen? What is the order of execution? The, those those things let us study in detail in the next video. Okay, so. as what take away from this video is how to create a promise how to create a promise with a specific delay okay two different ways of promise creation just practice these things properly be sure of whatever the syntax uh, 
um, how to create a new promise, how to create promise dot result. Be be clear about that in further videos. Let us well uh, in detail about these concepts. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in my next video. I'll try to link my medium blogs if I written anything about the promise or any other related topics related to the asynchronity. Please read that. So whatever the question that I'll be asking in my upcoming videos, that also I'll add in my GitHub repository. That link also will be in the in there in the description. Okay. Um, thank you so much again uh, for watching this video. Do please do like the video if you liked it, and do not forget to share this with your friends. And please, 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 please subscribe to my channel Uncommon Geeks. Thank you so much. Catch you in next video.